This episode of Zoo Academy is brought to you by T-Mobile, who wish to inspire success while connecting our community to the wonders of wildlife. Hey, Ron McGill here with yet another edition of Zoo Academy. Today we're talking about producers and consumers. So what are producers and consumers and what are the differences? Producers are basically things that produce food for other animals. For instance, we talk about at the very bottom, the grasses, the haze that produce that food. Then we go on to things like trees and leaves that produce foliage and other types of foods. And then we graduate to the fruits like apples, avocados, mangoes, and vegetables, things like carrots. Now these things produce through photosynthesis. In other words, they use the energy of the sun, the air, and the soil to make themselves grow. They don't need to feed on anything else. So that's the big difference because consumers consume the producers. So in other words, we have things like the grasses and the haze that are consumed by things like antelope, hay by the elephants. Okay, these are vegetarians. They feed, they are consumers of things like the hay. When we talk about the leaves, we'll talk about animals like the giraffe. These are browsers. They feed on things like leaves and different types of trees. They reach at different heights. And then we have animals that feed on fruits and vegetables, such as the tortoises. A Galapagos tortoise will love things like apples and other sweet vegetables. And finally, we have vegetables with things like tortoises and primates will also eat, but also some of the big herbivores like the rhino. The black rhino loves vegetables of all types. Some are specialized consumers like the koala, which feeds on the specialized leaves of the eucalyptus trees. So producers and consumers play a vital role in that circle of life. As the producers produce, the consumers consume, they fertilize back to the producers, which continue to produce. So that's the wonderful story of the circle of life. It's like from the old Lion King, remember? The lion eats the antelope, then passes on onto the soil, fertilizes the soil that grows the grass that the antelope eat, become the food for the lion. So we have the producers and the consumers, all part of the circle of life. We'll see you next time on Zoo Academy.